So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, desert tortoise brumation. So ham is going to prepare for and then go into brumation. Currently it's November 22nd and ham's been in brumation for about a week now. So I want to uh, highlight uh, a few of the things that we had to do to prepare him for that. So one of the key aspects uh, before going into brumation is to make sure that the tortoise is well hydrated. So uh, giving him uh, a regular dip in the water, uh, putting him in a shallow bath, uh, tortoises definitely cannot swim. So we got to make sure that it's very shallow um, and he enjoys it. And um, about 20 to 30 minutes soak um, maybe even a couple of times before uh, going into brumation can be healthy. And uh, the other key is to make sure that he empties his bowels. So uh, you don't want a desert tortoise having a lot of food uh, rotting inside their bowels while they brumate because they don't poo during brumation. So it's not going to go anywhere if it didn't get out before they start to brumate. So we stopped giving him uh, fresh leafy greens and rehydrated grasses um, around the last week of October. Uh, he could still forage for himself around the yard, but we did not give him any supplemental foods, any of his favorites. We didn't give him anything. So whatever he chose to eat from the yard is all that he got. And he did eat a few weeds, but in general, the amount of food he was consuming was much lower. And uh, finally, uh, clo very close to brumation, he slows down a lot. He's, he gets up late, he walks very slowly. Sometimes he'll just bask in the sun and then um, eventually he just sleeps and he doesn't come out anymore. And uh, one thing that was recommended to us was to use hay. So we gave him hay if he wants to eat it. Generally, he didn't eat much of it, but he chewed on a little bit. Um, and mostly we used it as a insulating bedding um, to stuff a bit in the burrow uh, to help with that. Um, but you'll see that he's pretty far back in the burrow uh, and uh, he's dug down a bit as well, which helps for uh, keeping him uh, at a reasonable temperature all winter, not too hot and not too cold. And we are here in Tempe. Um, it doesn't freeze very often. And when it does, it doesn't freeze for very long. So his um, burrow should easily keep him uh, uh, well above freezing uh, during the winter. The other important aspect of his burrow during the winter is that it keeps him dry. Although he doesn't mind getting soaked in summer rains when it's warm, he definitely should not get soaked uh, in the winter uh, when it's cold. 